hi guys so in this session we will discuss about cerebrum cerebrum salsas and gyrus so we will start with salsas first so here i will write the names of salsas all salsas and here i will write the important examples and characteristic examples are more important right so i am starting with <coughs> yes limiting salsas right so limiting sulcus divide two different functional areas right now example is your central salsa uh, central sulcus of ronaldo remember this set right? next next is your axial sulcus this is found in the homogeneous area right so example is posterior part of calcarine sulcus calcarine sulcus posterior part uh, near the visual cortex you can say next is your operculated sulcus this similar to your limiting sulcus and here example is your lunate sulcus correct and last is your complete sulcus or completed sulcus right this is an impression in the lateral ventricle and your example is collateral sulcus so these are your all sulcus and their examples right <clears throat> so we will revise it here only limiting sulcus is your central sulcus of ronaldo axial one is your calcarine sulcus posterior part operculated is your lunate sulcus completed is your collateral sulcus right these are your four sulcus now coming to your important topic which is your gyrus so along with the gyrus i will also dis uh, discuss your broadband area so this uh, I, I will request you to focus in the screen right okay <clears throat> so this is your frontal part correct this is your temporal part this is your parietal and this is your occipital part and if you say this is your posterior this is your anterior now in the frontal section i have to make yes correct in the frontal section <coughs> or in the frontal area we uh, we can divide into you know area number 6 then 8 and then 44 45 so so there are you know we can divide into three areas three Broadman areas. Frontal area can be divided into three Broadman areas, right? So this is actually salsas, right? These two salsas divide into three gyrus, right? So the area number six, area number eight, and forty-four, forty-five. <clears throat> so now area number six is your superior frontal gyrus. Area number eight is your middle frontal gyrus, and area number forty-four, forty-five is your 
inferior frontal gyrus so two sulcus divides the frontal area in three gyrus and the we can uh, divide the, this one so superior frontal gyrus middle frontal gyrus and inferior frontal gyrus three gyruses right and we can number them what we say as Bodman's area so superior frontal gyrus we can number the, it as six middle frontal gyrus eight and inferior frontal gyrus 44 45 now <clears throat> now comes the important point from your exam point uh, this one superior frontal gyrus this is actually pre-motor area which plans the movement so remember this is your one second right this is your pre-motor area middle frontal gyrus is your frontal eye field frontal eye field and inferior frontal gyrus which is area number 44 45 is your broca's area broca's area is your motor speech area motor speech correct frontal area is gone now now we are heading towards <coughs> your parietal area so the uh, this is your one sulcus two and this is your third correct and this is your interparietal sulcus this one correct and this is the boundary of your parietal lobe from here it is occipital lobe and this is your and this one is your temporal lobe right so this is yours so now we can mark it as area number four area number three one two three one two <coughs> right and this is your interparietal sulcus above it is your superior parietal lobule below it is your inferior parietal lobule spl is superior parietal lobule ipl is inferior parietal lobule right so don't make mistake here three one two correct okay. So now pay attention so area number four is your precentral gyrus precentral right this is your precentral gyrus precentral gyrus area number four that's known as the primary motor area primary motor area Area number 312 is your post central gyrus. Post central gyrus. Right? And this pre central gyrus and post central gyrus is divided by central sulcus of Ronaldo. So this is your central sulcus of Ronaldo. Central sulcus of Ronaldo divides it uh, into pre central and post central gyrus. Correct? This is your. Uh, Interparietal sulcus that divides into in, uh, inferior parietal lobule and superior parietal lobule, right? Now, superior parietal lobule is area number five and seven, which is your sensory association area. <coughs> Correct. Inferior parietal lobule. Inferior parietal lobule helps in and eye coordination correct now we will move to the occipital loop. don't worry we will revise you know after finishing the diagram in occipital loop there is visual cortex area number 17 18 19 simple 
now we will come to the this one temporal lobe so temporal lobe is divided by two sulcers into three gyrus superior temporal gyrus middle temporal gyrus and inferior temporal gyrus simple now in superior temporal gyrus itself there are two areas one is area number 22 which is your Wernicke's area or Wernicke's area or sensory area of speech I am writing speech sensory this is important and other is area number 41-42 which is your auditory area I am writing as AA auditory area <clears throat> so these both are in here only <coughs> okay so give me one second I will just check whether we missed any areas we did it all so we will revise the kairos portion again right watch now frontal area this one i am starting with the frontal area correct so frontal area is divided by two sulcus into three gyrus superior frontal gyrus middle frontal gyrus inferior frontal gyrus superior frontal gyrus with broadman's area six it is the pre-motor area middle frontal gyrus with broadman's area 8 it is the frontal eye field and inferior frontal gyrus with broadman's area 44 45 it is the broca's area or motor speech area fine now central sulcus of ronaldo divides uh, the parietal lobe into two gyrus pre-central gyrus post-central gyrus Pre-central gyrus is the area number 4, which is the primary motor area, this one. Post-central gyrus is the area number 3, 1, 2, right? Both are divided by central sulcus of Ronaldo, this one. <coughs> now, interparietal sulcus divides the parietal area into inferior parietal lobule and superior parietal lobule. Superior parietal lobule is area number 5, 7. It is the soma, uh, sensory association area and inferior parietal lobule it is in uh, its function is hand eye coordination now we are moving to occipital lobe where there is visual cortex area number 17 18 19 <coughs> coming back to the temporal lobe again two sulcus divides temporal lobe in three gyrus superior temporal gyrus middle temporal gyrus inferior temporal gyrus in superior temporal gyrus itself there are two areas area number 22 and area number 41 42 both are located in superior temporal gyrus right uh, you can say area number 41 42 located in the anterior part of superior temporal gyrus which is the auditory area or the hest gyrus and area number 22 the posterior part of superior temporal gyrus which is the warnix area or speech uh, sensory area of speech right so with this we completed all the boardman's area so in this topic we discussed sulcus gyrus of cerebrum right so we'll meet in another video so hope it will be helpful for you right thank you <coughs>